have a nice day to you all. Okay, today we are going to start our second part of science book. We already finished our first book and today onwards we are going to do our uh, second part of science book. Okay, uh, let's start the lesson. The 11th lesson. What is the lesson? The lesson is sound. Yes, sound. What is the meaning of sound? In Sinhala, normally we call it as Shabda. Sound means Shabda. But in science, we call it as Dwanya. In Sinhala, Dwanya. Okay, sound. When you were in grade 6, I think you have learnt uh, the lesson sound. In that lesson, I think you have uh, learnt some small information. From this lesson, we can recall those information and we can learn new things about sound. Okay, in our day-to-day -day life, we can hear several kinds of sounds. What are the sounds you can hear? Think about that. The sounds of birds and dogs, vehicles, yeah. and sounds of musical instruments, TV, radio, and sounds of machines. There are several kinds of sounds. Okay. How these sounds are produced? You should know how the sound is produced. Yes, production of sound. Now, we are going to do Activity 11.1 in the first page of your science book, there is a practical activity. Activity 11.1. Okay, let's see how the sound is produced. Here we need a speaker. This is a speaker and we need, what is this? A dry cell and we need some connecting wires and some pieces of polystyrene pieces of small pieces of polystyrene. Then what you have to do here, first connect the connecting wires into the speaker. Then put the pieces of polystyrene on the speaker. Okay. Then connect the other ends of the connecting wires into the dry cell and remove it. Again, okay, connect it, then remove it. Okay, you have to do connecting and removing. Connecting, removing. Okay, then observe what is happening. So, what will be the observation? To see the observation, you have to do the practical. Please do this in your home. I think you can find these small things in your home and do the practical. You can see these polystyrene pieces are thrown up only when we connect it to the dry cell. Another time, the polystyrene pieces are not more. Okay, so we can realize that when we connect the wires into dry cell, the speaker produces sound. Because of this sound, the polystyrene pieces are moving. This movement, we call it as to and fro movement. What is to and fro movement? That means constant movement of backward and forward. Constant movement of backward and forwards. We call it as to and fro movement. Okay. To and fro movement. We called it as vibration. What is vibration? 
the speed to and from movement then upward and forward backward upwarding and backwarding constant movement of upwarding and backwarding we call to and fro movement and that word we call vibration okay so we can realize that the polis the pieces of polystyrene show these to and fro movement because of the vibration of the speaker when producing sound this speaker is vibrating because of the vibration these polystyrene pieces are moving so what is the reason for producing sound that means vibration vibration of some thing okay understood look at the string carefully it looks hazy and it is moving back and forth which means it is vibrating so vibrations produce sound put some pulses on the frame drum and strike the surface of the drum where there are no pulses you will see pulses jump up as soon as you strike the drum this is due to vibrations on the skin of the drum which lifts the pulses up pulses jump up only when the drum is struck and sound is also produced at the same instant so sound is produced by the frame drum due to the vibration of its skin sound is produced due to vibrations in any object to learn about producing of sounds further we can do activity 11.2 here we need a laboratory stand and using a thread we have to hang a small polystyrene ball uh, like as a figure you you have we have to uh, hang a polystyrene ball using a thread then here we need a tuning fork what is tuning fork in sinhala we call this as sarasula what is tuning fork in english we call it as tuning fork this is tuning fork uh, we can vibrate it it is produced sound then we have to uh, vibrate this tuning fork and take close this tuning fork into the polystyrene ball then what you can observe this is because of the vibration vibration of the tuning fork because it will producing and some energy uh, this is about the generation of sound now you know that uh, how the sound is generated sound is generated because of the vibration of an object okay then we are going to see how the vocal sound is produced so do you know how the vocal sound is produced let's do this activity activity 11.3 page number 2 okay here you have to place your fingers in the middle of your throat okay place your fingers in the middle of your throat then speak slowly you can sing a song slowly then record what you feel what you can feel into your fingers then speak loudly you can sing a song loudly then record what you can feel okay here you can feel light trembling what is trembling trembling mean company meno company meno trembling you can feel a light trembling when you are speaking slowly okay when you are speaking loudly you can feel this this trembling is increasing trembling is increasing okay the reason for this trembling is the membranes in the throat there are membranes in our throat when we are speaking these membranes are vibrating okay we call this membrane as 
vocal cords. So when we are speaking, these vocal cords are vibrating or trembling. Understood? So vocal sounds, that means the vocal sound is produced due to vibration of vocal cords. These vocal cords are in our throat. So these vocal cords are trembling or vibrating when we are speaking. So vocal sound is produced due to vibration of vocal cords. Okay. So here the air column is vibrating. Air column vibrates when we are producing sound of the flute. We can realize that the various instruments, musical instrument, produce sound by in various ways. So according to the, that way, we can categorize these musical instruments into three parts. Turn to page number 4 in your book. The sound sources. There are three parts. Vibration of strings, vibration of membranes and vibration of air column. So here you should know the examples for these each of three. First one, vibration of strings. So here there are a lot of instruments, guitar, violin, sitar, restaurant, like that. Uh, and here, uh, vibration of membrane. What are the instruments? Tabla, drums, there are a lot of drum sets. Then vibration of air, saxophones, there are flutes. You should know these examples and you have to write these instrument and also if you can find the pictures of these instruments and paste in your book. Assignment 11.2 Turn to page number 4. There's an assignment here to how to listen the sounds you can hear in your environment. 
it will be natural sounds or artificial sounds then you have to list out those in a this table sounds here what are the sounds you can hear in your environment you have to list here and you have to mention what is the part that vibrates to produce sounds what is the part that vibrates they have written school bell so in a school bell what is the part that vibrates that is the surface of the bell that is the surface the surface will vibrate to produce sound and what are the other things here i have written 1 2 3 4 four sounds and you have to write furthermore sounds okay noise of students in school you can hear the noise of students then what is the part that vibrates the vocal cords we have vocal cords here when we are uh, producing sound when you are speaking the vocal cords will vibrate then there are speakers in your uh, school so what is the part that vibrates the speaker corn speaker corn will vibrate then you can hear the sweeping the sound of sweeping the compound so what is we using for that we are using ikal broom so ikals are vibrating ikals are vibrating then we can hear the sound then uh, think about a waterfall in a waterfall we can hear the sound falling Falling, we can hear the sound. So, what is the part that vibrates? Water. So, likewise, you have to list more sounds, artificial like natural sounds. Okay. Uh, here, don't write the musical instrument because you have to do next assignment. Assignment eleven point three, page number five. Here, you have to list the musical instrument. We have commonly used ones. Then you have to mention the method of producing sound in each listed instrument. Likewise, here you have to write the music, name of the musical instrument. Here you have to write the method of producing sound. That means the part that vibrates. Okay, you can do it.